How to do a water change in a freshwater aquarium. Regular water changes are a critical part of freshwater aquarium maintenance. Switching out part of your tank's water allows you to more closely control the level of debris and toxins. To do a water change, you will need to get the fresh water ready and siphon out the dirty water. You can also take this opportunity to clean up your gravel and remove algae from the tank's walls. Gently adding the water back in makes the process seamless for your fish and can create a sparkling tank. Getting your tank ready for a water change. Pre-treat a bucket of tap water. Get out a clean bucket and fill it with water directly from the faucet. Follow the instructions on your water conditioner bottle and pre-treat the water prior to cleaning. The conditioner will make the water safe for your fish by removing dangerous chemicals and metal residue. Go ahead and keep two plastic buckets, specifically for your aquarium use. You may even want to write fish on the side. Some people prefer to refill their tank using water directly from the tap. This may be more convenient, however, you do risk exposing your fish to hazardous chemicals in the water. To lessen this possibility, let the tap run for 5 minutes or so before filling the bucket. Go ahead and keep two plastic buckets, specifically for your aquarium use. You may even want to write fish on the side. Some people prefer to refill their tank using water directly from the tap. This may be more convenient, however, you do risk exposing your fish to hazardous chemicals in the water. To lessen this possibility, let the tap run for 5 minutes or so before filling the bucket. Unplug the tank's lighting and heating elements. Since you will be working with water around the exterior of the tank, it is best to minimize the presence of electricity. Go ahead and disconnect the tank lid and any attached lighting. Reach into the tank and unplug any exposed heating elements. Unplug and clean the filter. Many filters don't do well without full water coverage, so it is a good idea to disconnect your filter as you start the cleaning process. You do not need to clean or replace your filter cartridge, sponge, or other media every time that you clean the tank. Instead, look at it, see how it is holding up, and then run it through cold water or fully replace it, if needed. Replacing your filter too often can have disastrous consequences for your tank by removing the accumulated good bacteria. To counterbalance a filter change, you might want to invest in gravel, or sand, with pre-added bacterial cultures. Replacing your filter too often can have disastrous consequences for your tank by removing the accumulated good bacteria. To counterbalance a filter change, you might want to invest in gravel, or sand, with pre-added bacterial cultures. Remove any dirty artificial decorations and plants. It is also not necessary to clean your tank accessories as a part of every water change. Doing so can disrupt the good bacteria in your tank too. However, if the artificial items in your tank seem overly slimy or sludgy looking, then you'll want to gently remove them to a bucket and allow them to soak in a plant cleaning solution. Never wash your plants and decor in soap. The chemical residue can be harmful to your fish, and it can also cause an outburst of algae in your tank. You can also soak your plants and decor in a chlorine bleach and water mixture. Add 1 to 2 tablespoons of bleach per water in a bucket, greater than never wash your plants and decor in soap. The chemical residue can be harmful to your fish, and it can also cause an outburst of algae in your tank. You can also soak your plants and decor in a chlorine bleach and water mixture. Add 1 to 2 tablespoons of bleach per water in a bucket. Scrub the walls of the tank. Every time that you do a water change take a quick look at your tank and see if it needs a scrub. Look for green or brown film on the sides of the tank. While the tank is still full, use an algae sponge or scraper to rub the tank's side and remove the residue.